UFC TV viewers. I'm Jane Spooner and I'm a University of Minnesota Master Gardener here in Rice County. And here I am, outstanding in a field. And what kind of a field? It's a strawberry field. We're taking a little field trip today out to the Straight River Farm, just outside of Faribault. And as you can see uh, behind me, we've got people that are busy picking strawberries because strawberry season is here in southern Minnesota. Um, it's coming a little bit later than normal, but um, we are here at the Straight River Farm to talk about strawberries and even some blueberries and even raspberries because they've got some extra crops this year. Right now they're picking a crop that usually ripens at this time of year. Further down, um, they've planted another variety that they'll be able to pick later into the season. So basically you're gonna be able to have uh, strawberries all summer long for your eating pleasure and canning pleasure. So um, let's see if we can get a customer here to chat with us a little bit. Let me introduce to you my friend Jane. Uh, she's always been a great namesake because we spell Hi, our Jane. name the first yes, time the same do. way. We've known each other for a lot of years. So she's out here this morning picking strawberries. So what's the fascination of picking strawberries? I mean, it seems like a lot of work that she can't go to the- Love strawberries. And there's nothing like fresh strawberry jam. Okay. I like to make the freezer jam. Freezer jam? Mm -hmm. So yep. do you do a lot of strawberry shortcake and stuff with that? I or? do some strawberry pies and mm -hmm. strawberry breads. And, Ooh. Yeah. So. And strawberry spinach salad. Ooh, wow. Lots of different yes. things that you can do with strawberries. Yes. So about how many pounds do you pick a season? Um. Gosh, I don't know. I can say two boxes. Two I don't boxes. know how many pounds, pounds that are. is. Yep. No. So how long have you been doing this? You've been doing oh, it for a lot of years? 16 or? years. Oh, wow. Here. Wow. Yeah. Did your kids do it with you when they were little too? Or? A little bit. Yeah. They weren't too into it. <laughs> so <laughs> now, do they make you weigh yourself coming in and weigh yourself going out to make sure that you're paying for all the berries that you eat while you're picking? No, I don't, Jane. <laughs> Shh, but I haven't it. even tasted one yet. You haven't? No. Oh my God, look at what you got going here. Oh, no. So that's my second do you, box. That's your second box already. Yes. So, well, anyway, thanks for taking some time to talk to us today. And well, thanks, um, Jane. have fun with uh, all your canning and I all will. that stuff. So it's kind of Thank what I'm you. going to be doing to some strawberry jam. So, Sounds good. Yeah. Would you like a strawberry? Sure, I'd love one. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not as graceful as food TV, but this is mighty fine eating. <laughs> so, hi, I'm with Claire, and Claire is a long time employee here out at the Berry Farm, and um, she's gonna talk to us a little bit about when people come out to the field, what she do, does to direct them, and what they're supposed to do. So why don't you start with somebody pulls up in a car, and then what happens? All right, people pull up, um, and I try to avoid them poking in the mud, <laughs> just common courtesy, you know. Um, and they'll come up to me, and I'll head them out to the field. Um, we, how we do our fields, uh, we start, usually those white flags at the beginning of the rows in the, during the morning. Um, we will start them at a white flag. We tell them to pick half on each side of the aisle. Okay. Um, pick only the red ones. The redder they are, the sweeter they are. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you're done, move your flag so we know how far people have gone. Okay. And the field behind us is pretty much picked out for the day. Okay. Um, and when that happens, then we'll move to a different field depending. Okay. We have multiple fields that we pick and rotate. So we always have oh, baked okay. strawberries. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what's your favorite way to eat strawberries? Oh, um, I honestly kind of get strawberried out after <laughs> day three or four. After the first week, I'm like, I'd rather not eat a strawberry. <laughs> well, that's but honesty, but we, okay. <laughs> we um, freeze them. My family freezes them. If they start going bad, we mush them up and we freeze them. We okay. eat them in the middle of the winter. And that's yeah. my favorite way. With that's kind of summer in the freezer. So yep. nothing beats that kind of yep. produce in your freezer whereas right. going and buying them frozen from the right. grocery store there's certainly a different flavor right. so we have a customer here who comes out every year with her kids and she picks hundreds and hundreds of berries um, to freeze and they only they never buy store berries no store berries and they huh? only pick they'll okay. come out a couple of times a week and pick as much as they can wow and interesting process them for themselves so i suppose you see a lot of repeat customers over the yeah. year and mm -hmm. so how many years have you been doing this i've been this is my Fourth year. Fourth I started year. out doing picking for pre-picking. Okay. And then um, I got moved up to more 
management and customer okay. service stuff. <laughs> um, and now I work out here in the field. Okay. And my mom and my brother work up front. Okay. My little, I have two little brothers, three little brothers. One is 17, he works up front, and the other little two kind of just bumble about and okay. hang out and yeah. do, if we need boxes and it's busy, they run and grab me boxes. And wow. it's a whole family thing. Yeah. We usually it's spend a great way to be with your family outdoors yeah. and in yeah. nature, so not sitting behind, mm -hmm. you know, the tablet and all yes. that stuff. So, yes. okay, well, so like you must be close to graduating soon. I'm actually a sophomore in college right oh, now. Oh, you are? And what's on a, a, so, are you got an agriculture background then? Are you going to go into agriculture? No, I'm actually going into science, um, oh. medical school. Okay, so well, stuff, there you go. And pre -physical well, there you go. So. I'm on break. I go summer year round and I'm on break for the 4th of July. And I got home last night at midnight and I was here at 7 a.m. because <laughs> why not? That's dedication. Yep. <laughs> we drove eight hours and got here. Well, awesome. Claire, I'd like to thank you for yeah. taking some time to talk to us about your role here mm -hmm. at the at the Berry Farm, and you do provide a very important role, uh, so people get the the best kind of customer service to pick the best kind of berries for their <laughs> for their freezers, jams, pies, or whatever. So sure thanks it. and good luck with your medical school, school studies. And thanks if somebody comes in and says they ate too much many strawberries. Yeah. You'll know how to fix them yep. up, right? Eventually, maybe. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Thank you. I'm here at uh, the Straight River Farm, uh, Star Strawberry Farm that's just outside of Faribault. And I should say not only strawberries, but raspberries and blueberries. And um, the owner, one of the owners, um, Bill Hine, is here to chat a little bit about his strawberry operation out here. Um, he, is, he and his wife, Maggie, started this farm how many years ago? 2003. Okay. That's quite a few years, isn't it? It's a lot of years. It's a lot of years. So I can't even remember what I was doing in 2003. So I remember what I was doing. <laughs> Starting this farm. Yes. So uh, so some of your background, I was reading your website and your about us kind of thing. And you said you left a teaching position. Yes. You retired from teaching. And yes. you felt that you needed to do something. Uh -huh. And you moved to Faribault and you know, bought this. Growing good fruit is, a, is an honorable thing to do. Absolutely. I come from a farming background. My grandparents were both, all, both sets were farmers, so I certainly understand. We had large vegetable gardens, so this is really a, a treat to be out here and picking. So yeah. how many acres did you start out with? And are you at the same acreage? So we started with just one field of strawberries, a couple acres, and, okay. and five acres of apples. Okay. The first, and, and some raspberries the first okay. year. And now we're picking on about five acres of strawberries, and okay. then there's a couple acres getting ready for next year. We have seven acres of apples, okay. an acre of blueberries, and an acre of raspberries. Okay. So the raspberries and blueberries, how new are those to your repertoire well, here? Well, the blueberries were planted in 2010. Okay. The raspberries I've had uh, over the years, uh, this is maybe the first year I've really got a good crop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it when we were over there yeah. shooting some uh, yeah. photos yeah. of them and everything. Raspberries are my favorite, so I can't wait to come out and, and get some of those. Yeah. Um, so. We were talking to one of your workers, Claire, and they're currently picking in a field. And what type of strawberries are in that field? Well, there? these are all June berries, not ever bearing. Not never ever bearing. Uh, What's the difference between ever bearing and June bearing? Well, June bearing will bear much more heavily. Okay. Ever bearing will bear twice over the summer, but they don't bear as heavily as okay. June berries. Okay. So this is compact and okay. quick. About how long of a season is this going Usually to be? Usually, it's about three weeks. Three weeks. Uh, okay. This is this is kind of the worst weather there is for strawberries, hot and wet. So yep. fungus like to grow in hot and wet. So. Right. Right. So we, if we can get them through the next couple of days, we should be good. Okay. All right. So now we notice that you have some fields as we walked over to the field that they're yeah. picking in. And why don't you tell us a little day bit about neutrals? The day neutrals are what is grown in California. Okay. So they bear, they're not a June berry, they bear for a long season. Okay. And these should bear in July, August, and September until frost. Okay. Uh, that's the idea, have them when other people don't have any. Okay. And uh, so they'll continue to be able to pick out here? 
or well, you use this more? Be, these will mostly go to the farmer's market. Farmer's but, market. But when we're picking blueberries and raspberries, we can pick day neutrals also. Okay. All right. So do you, is, uh, are your raspberries and blueberries, are they, um, you pick or can... Yeah, it's mostly you, you, pick. you pick. Some go to the farmer's okay. markets if we have excess. Excess. So uh -huh. when is your season for raspberries and blueberries? Well, the kids have been out there. This young man has been out there picking them this morning. <laughs> okay. So the, there's going to be an overlap this year on the raspberries because and of the, the late strawberries. season and yeah. everything. So yeah, yes. yeah. and so. the blueberries are later. They're July eighth, ninth. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So now, when we were briefly talking before we started taping, you talked about an experimental berry that you have out in the field um, that you were you haven't let anybody pick yet that you were going to be tasting. Well, there are some new varieties out there that I haven't tasted. Other people have tasted. Okay, them. okay. So you're always trying to find an, another variety that will do well in, okay. in this situation. Okay. So now to get a field started in the spring, I mean, d does all this stuff get mowed down after you're done picking? Or, uh, you know, take yeah. us through like a season, what happens? Just well, So the ones that we're picking on when we're done picking will cut off the leaves, narrow the rows, and have them regrow for okay. next year. Okay. Uh, the first year plants, you try to keep the weeds down, keep the runners in the row, and then we'll pick those the second year. But the ones we're picking on now, they'll be mowed down uh, and narrowed down and allowed to regrow. So okay. you have new crowns, new, new crowns. plants. Okay. All right. So I know that we had a really tough winter this year. Did it affect your strawberry crop at all? Did you have to do a lot of replanting or do you mulch, do you mulch them in or do you yeah, just leave them? They're covered with straw. Straw, okay. And we had pretty good snow cover. So that really so helped. So that takes care of kind it. Kind of insulated it. Yes. But there was some uh, winter damage in the apples and the blueberries. Okay. A lot in the apples, some in the blueberries. Okay. okay. So what variety of blueberries do you grow? Uh, there's St. Cloud Superior, North Blue, Polaris, okay. uh, and a couple others. Okay, a lot of those, the Minnesota, University of Minnesota some cultivars, of yeah, some, some of them. them are, so. The apples are pretty much University of Minnesota cultivars. Okay, and what, what? Uh, so the new ones are Sweet Tango, Zestar, and Honeycrisp, okay. of course, and the old ones are Harrelson, Honey Gold, um, Chestnut Crab, Okay. Sweet Sixteen. Okay, okay. So how many family, do you have any other family members besides your wife that's involved in this, or? No. No. <laughs> my kids. <laughs> Isn't that usually the way my, it goes? My kids have real jobs. <laughs> real jobs. <laughs> but I bet in a pinch they'd come out and help mom and dad if need be. Well, right? they, they used to. They don't make it down here too much anymore. Yep, yep. I suppose when they live out of town. So anyway, um, I really, I know you're in a busy season right now and, uh, you know, weather-wise, and I know you're getting ready to go to farmers market so on behalf of the FC TV viewers we're really happy that you were able to spend some time with us here and interview you and um, uh, I look forward to eating some of your berries I'm gonna buy some before I leave and take them home see how many I can get home before <laughs> I eat them all so all right. anyway thanks a lot my, Bill my pleasure okay thanks a lot Hi, this is Jean, and Jean works at the checkout process out here at the Berry Farm. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do here, Jean? Well, I take a box of strawberries that comes in, and I weigh them. And then, depending on how much it is, we charge for pre-picked two twenty-five per pound, okay. and then for pre-picked, it's three fifty okay. a pound. Okay. And I know we were just back in the cooler and took some shots and there's a lot of berries up there that they said they picked um, this morning. And as Bill said, that was the blood, sweat and tears of the operations. Yeah. So anyway, um, I just would like to thank um, Straight River Berry Farm for allowing us to come out and videotape this year and uh, show how to pick, how what they're doing here in the strawberry, the strawberry fields forever. And just pay a visit. I mean, come on. This is great. So to all you FCT viewers out there, not only happy digging, happy picking, and happy eating.